Hi everyone, I want to use this video to show you how you can import a Canvas attendance quiz module from Canvas Commons. So I've logged into Canvas and I'm just going to come down here to the Commons icon. In the search, I'm going to type in Horner and in most relevant, I'm going to choose the down arrow and choose latest. And here you're going to see the attendance quizzes. Now, if you do this too many days after my video, you might not see this anymore because other things will come in. So you can also choose filter and choose Westfield Washington schools. And then it really should come up as being, uh, if not on the first row, at least by the second row. So I've got two different modules. I have one for the high school, quick shout out to Christian Horner who created this, and one for the intermediate and middle school. And basically the reason there's two different is the high school's on trimesters, where the intermediate and middle school are on quarters. So you would literally click on it to open it up. Over here, you're gonna say import download and you will select whatever course, or if you have more than one courses that you want it to go into, and you'd simply choose import into course. Okay, now I want to show you what that looks like inside of your course. So once you're in your course, just come here to modules and you should see whatever module you imported. So in this case, I'm looking at the high school try one, but if you imported the intermediate middle school one, that's what you should see right here. The very first item in the module is a button that you can copy to put on your home page if you'd like to. So here's a button. If you wanted that image on your home page, you can do this. Right click on the button. If you're on a Chromebook, it's a two finger tap. Save it to your desktop. And then in a minute, I can show you how you can add that to your home page and link to the module. So that'll be later in this video. All right, but let's go back to the modules. You're gonna see quizzes now for every day for the remainder of the trimester for the remainder of the quarter. They are already set up and ready to go. They have um, until due and I'm sorry, open until and due dates already set and they're already published. Now let's pretend you do this on the 23rd. Obviously you don't need these quizzes so you would just come here and you would unpublish them. Okay or maybe what it is is you only want to publish a week at a time so that kids they can't get into it early because it's not going to open until that date but they can't see it right it's not going to populate their calendar or their to-do list that's fine you can come in here and you can unpublish anything you want you just need to make sure you publish it before it's time for kids to complete it if you want to change anything about the quiz you're going to come to the assignments link you're going to find those quizzes. Now, all of mine are inside of the imported assignments category, and so will yours. The difference is if you've also imported anything else, it might still be in that, so they might not um, line up one right after the another. There might be where you have like an instance of a few other activities. That's no big deal. It's not hurting anything in the module. In the module, they are lined up and they're going to stay that way. So don't worry about that in the assignments link. But if you do want to edit something, if you click on the actual title, it takes you directly to the quiz itself. And if you wanted to edit the question, this is where you would go. You just click that little edit pencil. Make sure though that you have one correct answer and one wrong answer. Otherwise in the grade book, it's not gonna work out like you want it to. So one has to be correct, one has to be incorrect. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and return though. Let me show you how you would edit the quiz if you wanted to change anything inside of the settings. So instead of clicking on the title for new quizzes, to edit the settings, you click on the three dots and you say edit. You can change the name, you can change the due date or time, how many points it's worth. Of course, you don't wanna sync these to PowerSchool. You can also click more options and I've limited it to just one attempt. We don't want multiple attempts. But here's where you could change when is it available from. It's a due date or maybe the time. Maybe you want to change the due time and then the until date and time. So basically this quiz is going to open up at midnight. It's going to tell students it's due at 1230 unless you're the intermediate middle school. It's going to say 12 o'clock 
and it's going to close that night at 11.59 p.m. Now, why do we have a due time, but we're letting them take it the whole day? Let me show you why. All right, so with the quiz being worth one point with one correct answer and one wrong answer, any student who scores one out of one will get a green check mark in the gradebook. So this is where you'll come to take attendance every day. And the reason we have the quiz due by a certain time of day, either noon or 1230 based on what building you're in, is so that you can take attendance at that time or right after that time. Um, pretty accurately. So I would come here to take attendance on September 14th and I would look for any kid who does not have a red or I'm sorry a green check mark and those boxes I don't have an example here but those boxes will be red because red signifies it's missing so I'm just looking for all the red boxes and I'm going to mark those kids absent or I'm going to follow whatever code I need to follow uh, with our new codes this year. So I just need to look for the red boxes. All right, but kids can still churn something in after the due date, I'm sorry, after the due time, but before the close time. So in between noon and 11.59 p.m. or it's 12.30 for the high school and 11.59 p.m., students can churn stuff in late, but you don't need to keep checking back every, all day long to see that. What you'll do is the next day, when you're gonna take attendance on the next day, do a quick look and see if any boxes are blue. Blue signals that they turned it in late. So you only care about blue boxes, and if there are any blue boxes that now have a green check mark, you know you can go in and adjust their attendance for the day before. So you don't have to like figure out who might have turned it in late or who still needs to turn it. You're just looking for blue boxes change those blue boxes, boxes and you're done. And since they can't turn it in past 11.59 p.m., since it's already the next day, you only have to look at one previous day each time, okay? Because everything else is closed. Now, I'm calling them red boxes and blue boxes. I don't know what the default is on your Canvas course for colors. So let me just point out, we're gonna go to View, and we're gonna go to Statuses. Mine happens to be late is blue and missing is red. Yours could potentially be the same or they might be a different color. If you want them to be a certain color, just click the three dots and you can change the color to anything you want. So it, it doesn't have to be blue and red, um, but, but that's how mine show up. Yours might be different. Feel free to just keep them different or change them to whatever you want, okay? Just in case we're talking colors that aren't matching up. All right, so that's how you'll come in and take attendance. Kids can also kick, click the grades link to see if they've completed the quiz. So if they forget if they've taken the attendance quiz or not, they can come here and see. They'll get a green check mark as well. They can also just click on the assignment itself and itself, and it will open up and tell them they've submitted it. So they can look in the grades link or on the assignment itself. And last but not least, let's talk about how we can add an attendance button button to our home page and link it to that attendance module filled with all the daily quizzes. So I'm on my home page here. I'm simply going to say edit. Now remember I've already saved the image by going to the module, clicking on the link with the image and following the directions. It told me to right click or if it's a Chromebook two finger click and save that image to my desktop. So now I'm just going to come to wherever I want that image. I think I will put it right here. So make my cursor Go there, I think I want it centered. There's my cursor. I'm gonna click on the image icon. I'm gonna upload it. Click right there and then I'm gonna find that image. I believe I saved it to my images. Here it is. Open it up, click submit. There it is. Now if I click on it, I can resize it by dragging those little button or squares in the corners. All right, I think I like that size. So now I'm going to click once on it to link it to my module. I'm going to come up here to the chain link icon. I'm going to do a course link because it's inside my course. Okay, I'm going to come down here to my modules. And I want to pick the module that I want it to link to. And I'm going to come down here and say save. Now when students click this button, they'll go directly to the module with the quizzes in it and they will see any of the quizzes that are currently published.